So I'm getting ready to head out to the store, but I thought I would stop and take a quick five minutes to give y'all a couple of ideas or things that I think we should be doing before the end of summer, okay? So we know that some kids have already been back to school and some will be going back really, really shortly. So I wanted to share some of the things that I did during the summertime with my kids and maybe give you an idea to go ahead and do to finish the summer out with yours. So this video is five things to do before summer's out okay so the first thing is a splash pad this has been like number one on our list the splash pads in our area are free so we could just go from sun up to sundown if we want to they usually start around uh, around 9 a.m and they close at five for the splash pad um the one that we have visited several times they have a playground so when we're done with the splash pad we can also go to the playground but if we didn't go on the playground um, on that day or at that splash pad that brings me to number two the playground um, any local playground in your neighborhood uh, will suffice for real and your kids will just enjoy being out which you probably already know this because you probably take your kids to the playground all the time but this list is kind of like things you can do before summer's out slash like those really cheap or um, no cost uh, items so that's one that's number two and then number three is any water park. So I know in my area, they do have one major one. In this area, a lot of there's not really a lot of things um, available when it comes to water parks, theme parks, big things like that. But um, a water park, if you haven't already went to one, go to one. And a great way to see if you can get something a little bit more affordable than what they might charge is to go on Groupon or go on one of those sites that give you... Um, the ability to purchase things at like a majorly discounted rate. So check that out. Groupon is a great one. I know when I took my kids for spring break back in March, I had um, used Groupons for certain um, events and attractions that we went out and did. So definitely keep Groupon in mind for when you want to go to these big amusement parks or any water parks in your area. Number four is a kitty museum. A kitty museum in your area. One of the ones that I've seen looks so fun. They had these big dinosaurs outside. They had the the trees cut in dinosaur shapes or different animal shapes. Um, they also had the carousels outside and the inside with a bunch of a variety of things that you could do um, inside of the museum. So check those out if you haven't already been to one or you just not like the museum type of person. I know as kids, museums were boring to us, but the kitty museums that they have now are like that. So check that out as well. And number five, sweetheart, is make time for yourself before getting back into those school routines because we know we'd be up at the crocodons behind trying to get them up fight with them while they crying about how they tired trying to get them to brush their teeth and they whining and falling all over the floor i mean all of the things that we have to deal with in the mornings while getting kids ready for school especially if you have toddlers that's a whole nother ball game but all the things that we have to deal with to get them ready for school take some time for yourself see if you can find you a babysitter go out um on a solo date by yourself if you if you can you know or figure out something figure out something where you can go and make some time for yourself take a couple of days before summer is out schedule them days out ask your babysitter now for the next four days that you want to have to yourself and and book them out for that because you definitely deserve to have some peaceful slow days before we get back into the hustle and bustle of the school year all right and that's all i got for you right now see y'all when i get back from the store